Hi everybody, I uh, wanted to let you know that for the first time since the 1980s the Irish economics syllabus has been updated and yes indeed we have a new book out called Positive Economics uh, and when I say we, Brian O'Connor, Trudy Murray and myself, we wrote the economics textbook for Leaving Cert in 2012. Um, delighted to say we were the market leader throughout and then we received notification that the syllabus was going to be updated and therefore we sat down to work on a new edition um, about 18 months ago now and that feeling of when you just get the book into your hand for the first time is Truly amazing, I have to say. So what I wanted to do was tell you a little bit about how the syllabus is changing and particularly um, it's of interest to people who are interested in how the economy and particularly how are the next generation of economists are being taught. Okay, so for a start, there is a new inquiry-based approach. So what that means is that as our students are being taught economics in school today, is that it's not just about learning definitions and answering questions about, about scenarios, it's about really going out there and testing things out, looking at theories and models, looking through data, uh, looking at ways in which things are changing in the world right now and how they apply to the economic concepts. So I'll just give you uh, an example. Uh, if it is Brexit, if it is the increase in the economic trend and how many people are eating donuts, if it is how climate change is affecting us. Um, so now what they need to do is actually go out and look for the data that backs that up and looks at how it changes day after day or year after year to extrapolate trends and ideas. The second thing is, is the syllabus has changed quite considerably. Um, first of all, they now have a project. So this is back to the inquiry approach again. They now have a project that is going to be worth 20% of the final mark. And in addition, they also have got um, a lot of new topics as well, like financial regulation, and they actually have to evaluate its effectiveness, uh, like uh, globalization and how a more globalized world is affecting everything, like market failure, um, like and that would include asymmetric information, externalities, public goods, that kind of thing. There's a wide range of areas where they do have to know more about uh, things that are happening, which is more reflective of a modern Ireland today and the way the, the economic challenges that await us. I have to say, writing the book at this stage was very different to the last time because the last time you were trying to come up with activities and you know ways in which they could incorporate economics into their into their real life. Um, but I will say now. Uh, let's say entities like the uh, European Central Bank or a wide variety of others, the Department of Foreign Affairs or the CSO, uh, the Central Statistics Office, etc. They now have interactive resources and explainer videos and games and quizzes. And even uh, in some cases, they also have field trips for students to come in and to truly learn about how this is affected in their lives. So that has changed. So when we came to, like say, referring to class tasks, as we call them, they're all over the book about how you can apply these concepts in reality. All of these entities are now making far, far, far more, um, well, they're basically making their work far more accessible to people today. Now, the other thing as well is that due to the dynamic nature of what's going on in the world is that we've now agreed to uh, deliver a lot more digital resources on an ongoing basis to, uh, to the teachers. So that means that I'll be doing a Facebook Live, for example. So I'm a practicing economist. Uh, Brian O'Connor, he's a, he's a secondary school teacher. And then we have Trudy Murray, she's, uh, she's now a lecturer. She was a secondary school teacher. And um, so I'm going to be doing, as a practicing economist, I'm going to be doing some Facebook Lives with the teachers and their respective students about things like when the budget comes out or when Brexit comes to a meaningful conclusion um, or when there might be, let's say, a new initiative in place um, that would have an effect in the economy, etc. I want to tell you another thing, um, and it's, it's permeated the syllabus and it's permeated a lot of things, sustainability. Sustainability is all now in chapter three, and that is social sustainability, which looks at gender inequality, income inequality, and it also looks at economic sustainability. So how can, uh, how can an entity continue to grow? Uh, and also, um, also of course, environmental sustainability. So that's all around the um, Kuznets curve and a variety of others. So you see that that's like the whole idea of the syllabus change is that we really get people who are engaged right across every aspect around how the economy works. 
in addition as well, and that's that's what you're seeing here behind me, is that, um, I'm just going to show you that there now, is that there's now, uh, that we're going to have a project workbook, we're going to have, a, we have a teacher's resource book, and also then, of course, there are the digital resources, there's a wide variety of those as well, like what I had mentioned to you earlier. So, live here tonight in Galway, uh, just about to go in now, the teachers are inside, um, and we're so grateful to them, we're, we're so, so grateful to them, because the teachers at the end of the day are the people who put the book in the book list they have been the people that have helped us and supported us along the way and um, but we're really grateful to them because it, they are the people who have fed into us over the years so i speak for the pdst uh, generally every year the pdst is the professional development service for teachers and i talk to them speak to the to the audience of teachers every year with an economic update and i mean what, like you just think about it now I've been doing this since 2012 just think about the amount of change so back then we were talking about the euro we were talking about um, the IMF bailout we were talking about NAMA as time went on I remember talking about the Scottish referendum going on then to talk about Brexit the European debt crisis the rise in property values unemployment then rising employment rising wages um, the oh there's so many economic trends at which these teachers have taken uh, the next generation of economists through so I'm going to pop in here now tell them all about what to expect in the new syllabus and in the new book and to thank them most sincerely for their support over the years so uh, just in case any of you would like um, just to see any anything about the way in which the syllabus has changed etc positiveeconomics.ie is where you can find it it's simply the name of the book and that is the publisher's website so they can uh, you can see there just if you're interested just in how this is developing um, it's been fascinating to write it has been fascinating so many new elements uh, as I say I could I could speak for an hour about it which is exactly what I'm going, going to do now um, just all about how it's changed really really interesting and just want to uh, thank uh, Edco our publishers and also um, of course my fellow authors Brian and Trudy and most importantly the students and the economics teachers of Ireland thank you bye